this video um, will include a couple of tips on generally how to be happier in life, um, how to have a happy life, or how to uplift your life, or how to not let online bullies bother you, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I had all these great ideas when I was in the shower, and I sat here and I tried to make the video once, the camera wasn't set up right, and then I tried to make it again, and then I started getting texts, <clears throat> and then I tried to make it again, and then my stupid noisy neighbors came home, so this is like my fourth try, and like my brain's just like, no more repeating yourself. So I will attempt to figure out what the hell I was trying to say and make an actual helpful video. Anyway, when I was in the shower, I was thinking, like my mind wanders like it does when I'm taking a bath, and, you know, recently I, I've gone through all this stuff with the cyber bullies and stuff, and once I drop the weight and I feel more fully confident, um, I do plan on making a lot more videos and a lot more about how to overcome this kind of stuff and blah, 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 but um, for now... I have a couple of tips that might help some of you because uh, a lot of you have been asking me how I've changed my attitude and my mind so much and some people are skeptical and some people honestly want to know and so I figured well I will let you know because why not it's no great secret really I've been talking about it and I just figured um, maybe this will help somebody in the meantime because I, I know quite a few of my friends go through being cyberbullied now, being bullied in real life is a totally different story, and I'm not going to really touch that topic because that's a lot harder to deal with, and um, I just don't, I'm not in the mindset to try to even help anybody with that right now. I'm really sorry. Maybe in the future I can, but uh, online bullying is a whole other ballpark, and in theory, it should be really easy to deal with and not like bother you because people are online and they can't hurt you, they don't know you, all they do is talk about you and use whatever information you've put up online yourself against you, but in saying that, it's not really that easy and people on the outside can look in and say, you know what, it's just people online, what are you so worried about? Just turn off the computer, but it's not that easy to turn off the computer and you do go through varying moods and like I've been really depressed and really angry and suicidal and when I make my full real video about this later on in a couple months time or whatnot uh, I'm gonna actually probably put some clips from how I was at my lowest crying and whining about killing myself and stuff and just wanting out of this whole feeling of being hated blindly by so many people to how I am now which is a much happier and healthier mindset um, just for comparison you know but um, basically, you got to realize that these people are online. It is true. As hard as it is to, you know, realize and remember that when you're online and they're online and your whole, your whole life might be online and your friends and your family are online, they are just people online. They can affect you in real life. Um, and this isn't every case. There are going to be scenarios where the... People online do know you in real life, and they can do shit to you in real life, but again, that crosses over into the real-life bullying, which is not what I'm touching here. So everything I'm talking about is restricted to people online who don't actually know you and did what they did to me, which is stole my information and my pictures and, you know, blasted me, talked about me, and, I mean, whatever else they do, you know, um, nasty shit. It's like humans are just nasty creatures all around. We all, like, we all judge each other. We all hate a lot of stuff. We all have very low tolerance for things that are different or that we don't understand. And the, the key here is how you act, uh, you know, with your feelings. Um, if you don't like something, you don't have to go to that person and say, look, you look weird. You're a freak. You look different. I don't like you. Why do you need to spread the negativity? You don't have to. If you have an opinion, keep it to yourself or keep it at least in the small circle of friends and loved ones. There's no need to go to the person that you don't like and to make them feel like complete shit. Why? Um, what does their life have to do with yours? Do you see them all the time? Do you 
touch them, talk to them? Are they directly acting against you? No, they're not. You know, I, I very rarely talk out about any specific person. And if I do, nine times out of ten, it's because they've done something to me first. Um, they've personally attacked me or done something to me. Otherwise, I don't go there, you know. I... I talk about things that lots of people do in general that I don't like, but it's not the same to generalize something and complain about it as it is to pick on one particular person and to make them feel like complete shit about themselves. So I just want to get that out of the way. Um, I'm far from perfect, and everybody out there is far from perfect. There's not a perfect being on this planet. As nice as you think you are, you will have some flaws. Everybody has flaws. The people with the biggest flaws are the ones that point out the big flaws in others. So think about that, and that should make you feel at least a little bit better. These people that sit there online, usually they hide behind a screen name. They hide behind pictures that aren't them. They're not going to give out their real name, their real identity, their real pictures, because they don't want it back on them. That's them being a coward. And I don't have any respect for people that don't come out as themselves uh, to talk shit. You need to protect yourself as well. Lock down or hide anything you don't want anybody to see. This is kind of self-explanatory. Um, if you're on sites like Ask FM, I see a lot of people bitching about bullying there and people killing themselves. You know, they do have an option to not allow anonymous questions. That's all you have to do on YouTube or whatever monitor your own comments. Delete or mark a spam or block anybody that talks shit. Just get rid of it instantly. Don't allow it because then every time you go to your page and you see it, it's just going to make you feel worse about yourself. Get rid of it. There's nothing saying that you're not allowed to monitor and screen your own shit, you know? And um, yeah, Ask FM, just get rid of the anonymous feature. When I had that enabled, I got lots of questions and they were all picking apart my relationship and um, I got rid of it, and now I really don't get any questions because nobody wants to come out as themselves to talk shit. And even if they did come out as themselves, really, all they're doing is stating their opinion, and their negative opinion doesn't mean that's how you are or who you are. It just means that they're a loser with no life that wants to bring you down because they're feeling really bad about themselves. I've seen on Lil Cow them talking about so many other people People that are skinny, people that are fat, people that are pretty, people that are ugly, wanting to send nude pictures from some girl to her family. I mean, they just want to ruin people's lives. These people online that are mean and nasty like that, their only goal is to ruin other people's lives, and you can't let them win. The best thing that you can do is get your life together. Think about maybe if there happens to be any truth in what they're saying. You know, there's nothing wrong with learning from the shit that people say, like constructive criticism. I mean, they talk shit about the way you look, like about your makeup, for instance, or your hairstyle or your weight. Yeah, okay, sometimes some of us have problems with our weight, PCOS or age, diabetes, insulin, res you know, shit like that. It all, it all adds up. Um, what one person likes, another person won't. So style you know, things like your nose, your lips, your eyes, your jeans, that shit, completely ignore. You can't change that. I mean, you can get plastic surgery, but why should you? Your hair color, I mean, things like that. But if you have character flaws, like you're really up yourself, you're totally conceited, you hurt other people, you say things you shouldn't about your family members, things like that. If, if there's a character flaw that you have that you might not be aware of, you can use their insults as constructive criticism. Take a step back and look at your life and see, is there any truth to what they're saying? If there is, you can choose to fix it. If you fix it and work on it, you'll only be improving yourself as a person. So you can thank all the people that nitpick at you for making you ultimately into a better person, which is still miles above what they are because they will never change. They will always be trolls because they think their mission in life is to bring other people down and to point out everybody else's flaws. You will never see them taking a step back and saying, huh, I'm online and I'm telling this person she should die because I hate her makeup. Maybe that's a little harsh. No, they will just look for ways to justify it and to hurt more people. You can't let them win. 
And the way to not let them win is to not let them bring you down. The more they bring you down, the more they're going to try to bring you down. And if you end up hurting yourself, hurting others, or killing yourself over them, they're not going to care. All they're going to do is talk shit about you when you're dead. And the only ones that you're going to be hurting are your loved ones, and your friends, people that actually do care about you. You're going to be missing out on what could be a great life just because some people online have nothing better to do than to hurt somebody else because they have nothing in their lives. The best way to get revenge on them is to live your life the best that you can and be the happiest that you can. Think about what's lacking in your life maybe, what might make you happy. What's lacking in my life um, was a baby, but then, you know, I mean, I'm going to be 40 in two years, or yeah, in two years, and I know my time is about done. I can't focus on wanting a baby forever. So, you know, I got my doll as therapy and I was shamed away from using her. I still have her out. Like she's like right there in the living room. Cause that's a fucking $500 doll. There's no way I'm going to lock her up in a back bedroom. Um, in the kitchen behind me, I have tons of other dolls, but they're porcelain dolls that I'm painting. Me and Logan are, we do these little art projects together and we like paint and destroy porcelain dolls and shit. But, uh, yeah, um, so that was bringing me down. I let go of that because it's something that's obviously not going to happen. So I need to stop focusing on it. What's the next thing? Next thing is I really hate my weight. My weight is my own fault for the most part because I don't exercise. I don't do anything at all. So I became diabetic. I became unhealthy. So much in my life would be improved if I lost weight. And I've already lost a little bit because I cut out sodas and I've been eating better. And then, of course, being sick, I can't really eat much at all because I can't taste anything. But um, I'm really working on that. And I think in a few months, uh, by this time next year for sure, I'll be half the woman I am today. But, you know, you'll start to see it in a few months. And um, I have my mind set on a goal. And that goal is what is keeping me going because it's time for a change. And it's time for me to take my life back. And that's what I'm doing. So those are the things that I've done to kind of make myself rise up and feel better. I'm going to have a life. I'm going to be out there. I have a husband that loves me. I have fans. I have people who respect me. I have people that like me. I have people that even send me stuff. They send me cards. I just got, I don't know where they are. Um, oh, fuck. I had them here just like yesterday. Uh, if I can help. Well, I, I got sent um, three beautiful cards from one of my friends online <clears throat> and she sent me a Valentine's Day card and a birthday card and a Halloween card and then I've had friends send me like huge boxes of candy and shit from America and I had a friend years ago send me the teddy bear that I've been sleeping with for the last few years and I mean I even had somebody send me American toothpaste because the toothpaste in New Zealand sucks balls so if all these people hated me. They wouldn't do anything like that for me. They wouldn't be watching me, subscribing to me, sending me shit. Um, just always there for me. And, you know, I really care about these people. I know all the names of the people that have been there for me since MySpace days. And that's quite some time ago. Um, you know, everybody has somebody out there that cares about them. Even if it's just one person. It's that one person is worth, you know, a million or more of the trolls out there. You can't, you can't willingly hurt the people in your life for people that don't matter. And these people will never matter. Like I keep saying, um, you've basically just got to take a stand, use their criticism to your advantage and just know that what they do online for the most part, they, they have nothing. They've got nothing. If you have a spouse, they can't get to your spouse. They shouldn't be able to. And if, if a troll online could get to your spouse and make your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend leave you, then that person wasn't very good to start with. Because if you love someone, nothing somebody online says or does should be able to convince somebody else to leave you. You know, does that make sense? They can't make your kids stop loving you. They can't make your parents stop loving you. I mean, everybody has a history. Everybody makes mistakes. And 
you shouldn't be condemned to a lifetime of having to pay for those mistakes. If you've had ugly pictures online or you've dated the wrong people or if you've taken nudes, you know, even if you've been in porn or anything like that, if you have realized the mistakes that you've made and you've put it behind you and you've tried to move on, who are they to stop you? And who are they to make you feel like shit every day of your life because of it? It's not on them. Block everybody who talks shit. Everybody. Don't give them a second chance. Block, block, block. Monitor all of your comments. Fucking, you know, really, really monitor and don't let any negativity in your life at all. Let everybody who knows you know that you're not going to tolerate any of it. That's the first step. If you have to take a step back and get away from the internet for a while, just do it. Completely take a step back. And if all else fails or you come back but you're still not really sure, if you know who's talking about you or where they're talking about you, just kind of go online and be like, look, this is what I think about you guys. You guys are fucking stupid. You have the same insults because pay attention and they will have the same insults. They'll use the same handful over and over and they won't be able to think of anything else. They'll call you fat. They'll make fun of something in your family, marriage, relationship, the way you look, your nose, your features, your eyes, your weight. I mean, I already said fat, but you know, they'll make fun. Even if you, if you're skinny, they'll still say you're fat. And if you have tattoos done by like one of the best artists in the city, They'll say your tattoos are shit. They'll come up with whatever they can to hurt you. The trick is not to let them. And it's not easy. But once you get started, it really is easy. Once you take that step, it's easy to break free from it. And you just continue on and just live your life. And live your life every day and wake up and think, you know, this is a new day. And nothing's going to get me down because nobody can hurt me. Nobody can take this away from me. I have a right to my life and I have a right to live my life the way I want to. And live it, feel it, and it should be fine. Um, my defining moment was when I went on to Lil Cow and I said, I know you guys are watching my videos. Ha ha ha. I put them on paid to keep you away. You guys are fucking stupid for not figuring it out. You're not bothering me anymore. I know you can't do a single thing to hurt me. My son and I have made up and my husband loves me to death and he'll never leave me. And as long as I have him, my life is complete. I don't need you guys and I'm not going to let you hurt me anymore. Something along those lines. And they instantly shot back with the fat thing and the pedophile thing. And, um, they're, oh, yeah, right. And... It took him like 15 minutes to half an hour to fucking even respond to me. And I just saw that it was the same old track they had been on. I mean, what did I really expect? It wasn't going to be anything different. And the reason I keep talking about it so much, because I know some people are probably like, if it doesn't bother you, then why do you keep talking about it? I keep talking about it because I had been so depressed. I never thought that I would get over it. I didn't think I would come back like this. I thought that you know, I would disappear for a while, like quite a while. And when I came back, I would come back in hiding and still be in hiding and hide away probably the rest of my life. I didn't expect to come back and be completely fine with everything. So I'm kind of taken aback, like, huh, this is so much better than what I thought I was going to be when I came back. And so it's kind of like, me still getting used to the idea that I, I'm here and I'm not bothered by it because a lot of times I'm waiting, I'm waiting and waiting for those old feelings to come back and for me to get curious and go look at what they're saying about me. But I really don't, it's not an urge and it hasn't been an urge. And I don't know what exactly flipped over in my head, but obviously something did. And it's been something really good because it's helped me. And I just really want to share that with you guys and hope that what I've said uh, can help somebody out there as well. Just remember that the only power they have is the power that you give them. So you don't give it to them and they don't have it. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh. So, um, yeah, just hang in there and stay strong. And remember that you are special in your own way. You're special to somebody out there. And even if you're not and you're completely alone, you're orphaned, you have no boyfriend, you have no kids you have no friends, um, 
you should still be special to yourself. I mean, you're alive, you're living, you're breathing, you know, something out there is going to happen for you. Who knows when, who knows how, but no life is worth throwing away over people that don't care about you and that will only laugh that much harder at you when you die. And unless it's proven that there's ghosts and you can come back and haunt the fuck out of somebody, it's not worth killing yourself if you can't come back and haunt them and make them kill themselves. Because <laughs> that's totally what I would do. I'd find out who they are and I would drive them all completely insane. But since that's not a thing, I think I'm just going to stay alive and live my life and be happy. And I am happy and I want you guys to be happy because when you free yourself from the fear and the depression that comes with people online making your life a living hell, it's like you're reborn almost. And I mean, you just feel a thousand pounds lighter. It's an inexplainable feeling. It's almost like being in love. Like when I met Logan, I felt like <clears throat> I was just another person on another planet. I mean, I, I was in a daze all day long, just, oh my God, oh my God. And it's not quite like that, but it's, it's the happy feeling that's with me all day. Just a general feeling of happiness and being in a good mood. And I swear you've got to try it. And if any of you really need any more advice or any help, I'm more than happy to give it. Just leave me a comment below and I, you know, I will answer it there or you can message me and, um, I'll answer you privately if you don't want to kind of give it away, um, you know, in public. But, um, I hope you guys have a great day and I really hope that this helped. And just remember you're stronger than they are and you're stronger than you think you are and don't let them win and, uh, have a great day.